energy vibration reading for the Pisces Sun Moon and Rising sign for the second week of February. And when I want to say thank you for being here, thank you for being back, thank you for the wonderful positive energies. Well, you Pisces, Nine of Swords, what are you guys worried about? You're worried about the Prince of One, whoever this Prince of One is, but you're going to be having some victory and successful news, okay? So, the weekend is all about worries and conflicts. You Pisces, what is happening? And uh, Pisces men, um, 45 years and older, you Pisces, what is happening? There is a situation that you're having to deal with a Prince of Wands. Who is this Prince of Wands? And the Ace of Wands, a new start. But good news is going to be coming in. So stop worrying. What's happening in the weekend? What's happening in the weekend, you Pisces? Stop worrying. Okay? Stop worrying. Stop worrying, you Pisces. So it's a fire week for you, Pisces. The energy of the week is the hurt energy of the world. Something is coming to an end and something new. I see that some of you are going to be ending something on Monday. So whatever the situation is and whatever that is transpiring, your central is the Ace of Cups. New love is coming in for you, Pisces. New love is coming in for you, Pisces. So some of you, Pisces, could be dealing with someone, um, someone who is a... Um, Aries Leo or Sagittarius okay now um, it can be man or woman and this is going to be good whatever is happening you Pisces you're going to be victorious and successful okay so not to worry about this situation whatever is happening to you Pisces you're going to be victorious and successful okay you Pisces um, I'm seeing new love coming in and you're going to be having some good good news so we're going to see who is this new love coming in from and what's the good news I'm seeing a good a new start some of you Pisces who wanted a new start with an Aries Leo or Sagittarius this is going to be good going to be happening in business and it's going to be good so it's all about this and so fire on Monday Tuesday is a good day for you Pisces um, this week the central of the week is all about love new love happiness love and um, Wednesday Thursday Friday is the energies of fire the weekend is the energy of worries a lot of worries and conflicts in the weekend so let's see what's happening for you Pisces the three of ones is here okay and with the energy of the three of ones is that um, maybe you're deciding to leave a younger um, Taurus Virgo or Capricorn behind and um, or she is planning on leaving you behind and there is some sadness okay so you Pisces that are dealing with um, um, with a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn um, I think you're going to decide to leave her behind there is some sadness it could be she planning to leave you behind or you are planning to leave an hour behind, and there is some sadness. Okay, um, the king, um, the man, forty-five years and older. What is happening to you guys? Um, king of Cups, forty-five years and older. Um, what is happening to you guys in this week? You have a strong foundation. So, men, forty-five years and older, you have a very, very strong foundation. Whatever the situation is, you have a very, very strong foundation that is coming in. Okay, whatever the situation, you have a strong foundation. There is going to be a judgment call. There is definitely going to be a judgment call. So you Pisces men, 45 years and older, you have a strong foundation. It could be a judgment call at home or a judgment call in your business or a judgment call at your work. Okay, so the people who have their own business, there could be a judgment call um, at your work. And remember, this is a general reason, so it could come up in different form. Um, the Prince of Wands, what is happening in the energy with the Prince of Wands? Some of you could be having a new start or want a new start with a Princess of One. Whoever this person is, um, she, um, let's see what's happening because, um, these young people come up, so you uh, guys could be wanting a new start. The conflicts is now over. So if you were having conflicts with the Aries Leo or Sagittarius, the conflicts is now over. New start. What is this all about for the Pisces? New start. 
what is this all about victory and success so there's a lot of victory and success so if you Pisces were looking for a new start there's definitely victory and success energy of the magician here and you have what it takes to make as it make yourself successful so that is going to tell you guys stop worrying it's going to be good six of ones is here so some other good news is going to be coming in so whoever has started something whatever business or new work or a new relationship it's going to be good okay um and it's going to be over okay the good news is coming in for some of you Pisces and you're going to be moving on with your life and the tower has come and ended a situation so whatever that you are going through whatever um, worries that you have this is going to come to an end okay so whatever conflicts whatever worries there was it's going to come to an end you're going to be receiving some good news and you're going to be moving forward five of swords it's here and um, the whatever was going on where there was some um, opposition or people were working negative energy or you were working negative energy to hold someone in your life there was some negative energy in your house and that sort of a thing it's coming to an end okay so um, you're some of you are going to be having conflicts with hidden enemies okay some of you are definitely going to be having conflicts with hidden enemies okay um, and uh, um, whatever this negative energy was it's going to be coming to an end so this is going to be good whatever this negative energy is it's going to be coming to an end it's going to be good nine of swords is here and your worries is going to be over I told you guys what else is coming out and you're going to finally finally have some rest and peace of mind so nine of swords is here your worries is going to be over you're finally 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 going to have some peace of mind and some rest new romance is coming in for you Pisces it can be with an Aries Leo or a Sagittarian um, that's what I'm seeing that you Pisces could be connecting with an Aries Leo or a Sagittarian okay so um, there was um, some conflicts and that sort of a situation and it's coming to an end and you're going to be reconnecting with this Aries Leo or Sagittarians whoever this person is this is a young person so you older men um, could be reconnecting with your son or daughter so um, it, it is as if uh, you older men had got divorced four to five years and older you got divorced and uh, there was some conflicts and now this conflict is going to um, be ending um, and you're going to be reconnecting with your family okay um, it can be that whatever is happening for you Pisces you're going to be overcoming a situation but I gotta ask a question because some of you um, either um, the princess of Pentacles has left you or you have left them there is some sadness um, but you have some strong foundation some judgment call is going to be coming up so what is this about um, this person or, uh, have you left this person or have this person left you um, the energy of the power this lady and uh, um, yeah she end a relationship so some of you realize that a lady that could be a tar a lady in power or a lady that is a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn she has ended this relationship you are sad um you are sad about this relationship ending okay so um as as if she's very powerful it's as if you you guys were having a relationship with a very powerful lady she has ended the relationship you are saddened you are saddened by this loss and um, whatever reason that she end the relationship because it was a karmatic situation whatever reason that she has ended the relationship she ended it out of um, the situation that you know nothing wasn't coming from your side and this is the reason why she ended it okay and you guys are sad about it but um, this lady is someone who uh, I guess there was you know it's as if either you expected her to be running behind you it's not one of those type of ladies and she's like you know this is this is bullshit whatever is going on it is just bullshit I need to get my life on track I need to uh, focus on my life and uh, she hands it and 
you love her. She loves you. You both love each other. Is it that you guys were so busy? Um, what was it exactly? You are so sad. You feel as if you're you have failed this person or this person have failed you. But this this person has a lot of love and you have a lot of love for this person but um i don't think you are ready for this person you are not ready for this type of a person and that is the reason why she kind of figured this out and she thinks one less person for you to contend with so you can focus on whatever you need to focus with okay so some of you um could have was out of town come back or came back and saw this it, whatever is happening um you're very very saddened about the situation okay you're very saddened um about the situation who is it you're looking for new love now you're looking for new love you're definitely looking for new love Oh, you're looking for new love. Okay, what is happening? What is this judgment call that is coming in? Oh, uh, in business, at work, you're going to be successful. Okay. Um. Um. In business, you're going to be successful, but you know, like some blockage are coming up, but not to, because who is creating the blockage for you is. Uh, the Knight of Wands. Now, the Knight of Wands is an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. And whoever this man is, it could have been an ex business partner or someone that you are not aware of. It could be a friend that is blocking you without you knowing. But whatever it is, is that you're going to be removing these block and block him or her instead. Okay. Um, let's see. Um, I want to know. Um, who is this new love that is coming in for the Pisces? Because I'm just saying, there's new love because I'm seeing that you are dealing with the Aries, the or Sagittarians, um, men and women, and there was a conflicts, a quarrel. There was conflicts and quarrel. Who is this new love that is coming in for the Pisces? I yeah yeah. Okay, don't go back in that relationship with that Aries, the or Sagittarius. Don't go back in that relationship with an Aries Leo and Sagittarius you are supposed to be with a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn oh some cruelty was done by you or you have done some cruelty by someone else um, don't get back in the relationship BAM all right there oh Oh, you can't for you, um, Pisces. Okay, money is definitely be, uh, going to be coming out. Okay, new success money is going to be coming out now. Pisces, I'm not really liking what's going on, but anyway, I can't choose for you, Pisces. Okay, um, you Pisces are going to block the Knight of One, whoever the Knight of One is, you're going to be blocking them if you're doing business with them or if they are someone who has been a raging avoc in your life you're going to be blocking this night of ones once and for all okay um you have some conflicts with an Aries Leo or Sagittarius um some of you Pisces who was in a relationship with an Aries Leo or Sagittarius you're going to find out that she used a young man that is an uh, other Aries Leo or Sagittarius to block your success and you're going to be finding out and you're going to be lifting this block okay you're definitely going to be lifting this block well okay so you have two cards you Pisces card one card two let's see what's happening for the Pisces admit volun <laughs> vulnerabilities okay admit your vulnerabilities because a lot of you Pisces are um, have that in relationship and you won't admit it okay you don't want to show that side you don't want to reach out to the Taurus Virgo or Capricorn and said hey I missed you 
what happened can we talk about this you have been given this person mixed signal now you're feeling sad and it's best to reach out to this person because you need to find out why this person has ended the relationship at such and you're so you feel as if you you're vulnerable to this and it's not this you haven't been showing this person what you want you know you have been skipping around and doing everything this person is from a past life um she she ended it it it's ended you're sad reach out to her um, there's still love there is love from her and there's love from you reach out from her and let me tell you something this relationship has been affected by outside influence and I think you're going to be um, finding that out reass reassess reassess the situation so you Pisces need to reassess the situation in your life because obviously this ending with this lady it, it ends for a reason okay reassess the situation because you feel and, and you don't want to admit that you're sad of this you're, you're sad of what has transpired you don't want to admit it but reassess the situation because someone who is an Aries Leo or Sagittarius look you are with someone else and that person realized that your heart was with someone else okay she knows that you weren't fully compatible with her so she manipulate the situation to be with you okay so people can go to other people for them for you to be drawn to them now on the other hand the person who you really care is about she is plain and straight and she's she's pure and she realized that you know you're on your journeys and whatever you want you know she she loves you enough to let you go so that you accept but you think that this person just basically um, left you out in the cold but that's not it it is that you have never shown or you have never said where you are in this relationship this is a past relationship and I guess um, you need to reach out to her because you, you your heart is broken seven of pentacles a failure um, with the princess of pentacles and she left you she walked away from you um, and and you know you're going to be realizing that your work has been blocked or someone who is an Aries Leo or Sagittarius you need to get rid of this person you need to unblock yourself because you're blocked or an Aries Leo or Sagittarius um, love is still there if you care about the Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person um, love is still there the love will never die it is a past life love and it will never die even though she has ended this relationship now don't want to tell you Pisces this but I gotta tell you twice that is here that comes up with um, the worries all of your worries is going to be coming to an end okay that comes up with your worries all of your worries is going to be coming to an end okay so be aware of that all of your worries is going to be coming to an end so be aware of that and whatever the situation is all of your worries is definitely going to be coming to an end and you need to be aware of this I want to say I love you, Pisces. Bye-bye. Namaste.